Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Wolf of Lego channel, the first video of 2019. And today we're going to be taking a look at my custom Lego minifigure of <laughs> from Star Wars 1313. Now, Star Wars 1313 was a cancelled Star Wars action adventure video game that was announced in 2012, and then Disney acquired Star Wars in 2013 and cancelled all the good stuff that was being made and made their own shit. Um, so we never got this game, but I always thought it was a, a cool concept. Essentially, it was supposed to be like Uncharted, you know, a, a action adventure, you know, story driven game. I've never played Uncharted. I've played the franchise with its edgy sister. Uh, so I understand that type of gameplay and the idea of making a game like that with Star Wars was really cool and uh, Disney were going to make with EA their own Star Wars action adventure game because people really like the concept of 1313 but dice are a bunch of fucking morons and they can't do that too. So I don't think we're going to be getting a game like this anytime soon. So <laughs> that fucking sucks. But, um, yeah, and I, uh, I based this figure off some uh, 1313 concept art that's always been on my computer because I always thought it looked cool and I always wanted to make this figure. And with the announcement of the new Mandalorian TV show, I was like, hey, I want to make a Mandalorian and why not make this one? No one's made him before and I think I could make a pretty cool one and I did. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I don't really understand why people like Boba Fett. Like, I like Boba Fett and I don't understand. I guess he looks cool. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, because Boba Fett's pretty much just a bumbling buffoon that got himself killed and he died like a bitch. All looks and no talent. He's pretty much Dylan. Yeah. The game was supposed to be set on Coruscant and the underbellies of, of the city, the lower levels of 1313. And it was, you know, supposed to be moody and as atmospheric. And it was just a really cool idea and a concept that I, I don't think we're going to get. But I made this figure anyway. Really liked it. Uh, so yeah, let's go into a full close-up 360 and show you what I did. Okay, so Boba here. Uh, took me a little while to make, uh, a little longer than I uh, had hoped, uh, mainly because of the helmet. Uh, I'll go over as to how I made the helmet in just a second, but I want to go over his accessories real quick or his guns. Uh, so his pistol here, his pistol here is based off of the concept art that we saw for the game. Uh, what I used is this Brick Arms pistol right here. I don't remember the name, so I'll just put it on the screen. And as you can see, I did some sculpting to it, mainly that little silver bit right there and underneath the barrel here and to fill in where the suppressor attaches. I also, uh, if I can get into focus here, let me see if I can get into focus. I'm out of focus. I, I uh, carved out the barrel, so there is actually an interior to the barrel there. I was pretty happy with how that turned out. The scope is a bowcaster scope from the bowcaster that Brick Arms provides for Chewbacca. Um, so I cut one of those off and glued it to the side of the pistol, and I think it looks pretty accurate to the concept art gun. Okay, so the uh, rifle on the back, or the sniper rifle, is made from a Brick Arms bar. Uh, that is a gun from World War One and Two. And uh, to make it into like a sniper rifle, I just glued on a scope and added an extended barrel using like a, a mortar shell or something like that. I painted it up in a uh, metallic black color. Let me see if I can get this a little better with the lighting. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, I painted it up in a metallic black, added some silver detailing, gave it a gunmetal wash, and uh, painted the buttstock brown. And as you can probably tell, there is a magnet right there. Uh, the same magnets I used for my Indiana Jones holsters and also for making Baby Groot. And there's also a magnet in the torso so it can attach... <laughs> so it can attach to the back. God damn it. <laughs> so it can attach to the back so it looks like it's holstered on his back. I wasn't going to make an actual like holster for the rifle to slip into because that would... I wouldn't be able to probably remove it. And granted, I don't have him grip it because I painted where the hand's supposed to grip it, but I thought it looked cool because he does have it on in the concept art. All right, so the helmet, as I hit the camera here, the helmet is heavily inspired by Lego Matic 9's Django Fett. Uh, he made Django Fett, and I thought, oh, that looks really good, uh, especially how he sculpts around the visor. I didn't want to do exactly that because I feel like it was a little too bulky. I still like Aaron's figure quite a bit, but uh, this version of Boba Fett is supposed to be um, well, and what I take from it is he's using his father's armor or bits and pieces of it and eventually he'll paint it green, unlike in canon where he just man, it, he blew it up. Why the fuck would you blow it up? So to make the helmet, what I did, oh, hit the light there, is I took one of the Death Watch uh, helmets and I just took an X-Acto knife and I carved out the visor area to give it that indentation, as you can see right there. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. 
Uh, I fixed up any uh, deformities with some uh, Procreate. You can kind of see it's a little rough, but if you look at it from certain angles, it doesn't look too bad. Then I did sculpt onto the side of the helmet the accurate details on both sides. I really like how that turned out. Once again, uh, kind of copied Aaron there. The same can be said for the antenna. The antenna, Aaron used a paperclip, I believe, and that's what I use as well. The design on the top of the antenna is my own. Aaron's is a little different, but uh, as you can see, I did paint uh, all the little scratches on the helmet, the chips of paint, and uh, the little triangles up there. Those were a bitch to paint. I finally got them on in a nice, uh, nice way and I was pretty happy with how they turned out. I uh, dry brushed it in some gunmetal uh, to give it kind of that weathered look. It kind of looks like oil on there to be honest and I think that looks really cool. So uh, real quick to show you underneath the helmet, I did give him a face because I didn't want it just to be blank. So I gave him this head. I don't exactly know where this head comes from, which set, if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. But I painted the neck uh, just to kind of give it the, you know, like the the clothing goes up. I didn't want the neck to be just blank. And I did get a hair piece for him. Granted, we do see him in that uh, E3 demo. We see Boba Fett. Uh, I just don't like how that looked and I thought I would want a more gruff looking Boba Fett. He kind of looks like John Marston uh, from Red Dead Redemption. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like how that looks. I think it works pretty well. And uh, let me put the helmet back on because it wants to look at that. So the antenna's a little, a little loose there. It kind of likes to go where I don't want it to. Um, so the shoulder pads were made out of Procreate um, and those were lifted up a bit to kind of give them those like point, they point outward, uh, kind of like how uh, the Mandalorian shoulder pads are. I did paint on the Mosasaurus skull, M Mosasaurus, not Mosasaurus, what is it called? <laughs> I forget. But, but you can see it right there. I painted that on. I think it turned out really nice. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. And then you can see I did paint onto his hands as well, giving him some fingerless gloves. Um, I painted all the detail on the arms. I think that turned out all really nice. Um, same can be said for the other arm. It has uh, less detail. It doesn't have the uh, mosasaurus. Mosasaur ah, fuck. <laughs> and it doesn't have the little... Uh, little thing right there. I just wanted to distinguish it a little bit from the other one. So the torso of the figure uh, was pretty fun to make. Uh, the belts are made out of electrical tape, like I usually use for belts I make, and that does wrap around all the way to the back of the figure. And it does go underneath his arm there. You can see where the electrical tape connects to one another. Those little strips there are made out of electrical tape. The little pouches on the uh, left side, or his right side I guess, um, those are made out of Procreate, the little tubes as well. The belt buckle is made out of electrical tape. This little pouch here is made out of electrical tape. And the belt buckle on the back is also made out of electrical tape. The little loop here is made out of electrical tape. Same can be said for the one on the opposite side. That is also electrical tape. The red sash underneath, that's just some Cape Madness fabric that I glued on there. And uh, all the detail up here was painted by me on the torso. You can see that. Oh, it won't focus, probably because the arms are there. Yeah, you can see all that was painted on in uh, different shades of gray. Um, so that turned out nice. Same can be said for the back. The back's pretty minimal, minimalistic. The legs are also um, inspired by Lego Matic 9's Boba Fett and Jango Fett. So I am a hack fraud and I should be shot on sight. Go check out Aaron's stuff. He makes some really cool stuff. I got very inspired to make this figure from his Mandalorians he's made before, so check him out. He has a lot of cool stuff. He has a lot of more subscribers than me. Hey Aaron, can you give me a shout out, you fuck? So, uh, the pouches on the legs. So those are sculpted out of Procreate, the little uh, stitch, uh, stitch marks uh, or seams of the pants are painted on there. Then you got the knee pads, those are sculpted, also based off of Aaron's stuff. Uh, then you got these little tubes down there. Those are sculpted out of Procreate. Then we got some E-tape wrapping around the leg. On this side, we have a holster. It looks like a glob of Procreate with a line down the middle. Really great stuff. Uh, and then we got a little knife on the bottom there. Do have a little Padawan braid on the bottom there uh, coming down from the belt. I really like how that turned out. I think that turned out really good. Uh, it's just a piece of string if you're wondering what it's made of. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, he can't really move his legs forward because of the pouches there, uh, but I can move them back, and as you can see, I did paint on the inside of the legs as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, this is just some 
Cape Madness fabric, some leftovers I had. It's a little little weird looking right up there. It should be like tucked underneath, but um, yeah, uh, but that's okay because the rifle's usually covering that spot. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it for Boba Fett from 1313. I hope you guys liked this figure. Hopefully this video was short. And uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say about this guy. I liked how he turned out. Hopefully you guys think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it. Not much more to talk about about this figure. Hopefully this was a short video. I don't know. I'm, I'm still recording. I don't know how much footage there is. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the figure. Uh, the next video will probably be on my new Cad Bane figure. I just finished him a couple days ago, so there'll be a video on him. I still got to make Embo's dog, and then there'll be a separate video for those two. I decided to do three videos instead of one video so I can make them a bit shorter and also spread them out a little bit while I work on other projects. So uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that, and uh, you'll, I don't know, there'll be more content on the channel for you guys to watch, so I feel like that'll work out a lot better. But uh, yeah, definitely go check out Aaron or Legomatic9. Um, he makes some cool stuff, and I did uh, take a lot of inspiration from his Django Fett to make this figure. So definitely go check him out, give him a subscribe. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. There's not much else to go over. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless you people of justice. May the force be with you always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>